Good evening, everyone. I started a couple minutes early today. Okay, tonight we are going to practice some um, flower and the leaves drawing where it's just a black um, pro gel. So we're going to um, paint some patterns on top of um, bright colours. So the colour I've got here, um, I have already painted them. They are from our um, Candyland collection. So they literally them five colours from the Candyland collection. Uh, nice and the summery colours. So I'm going to just change the orders because that's from Candyland 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm just going to change the orders to match the design I've done before. Okay, so it's like that and that and that. Okay, if you practice with me tonight, you can use any colour you want on the background and then um, just get your black pro gel and we will need the um, extra fine detail brush. Extra fine brush. I think I might not going to use the detail brush. We'll see. Um, see what brush I come with. But there's two brushes that I use most of the time. Um, Hi Derry, hi Jay, hi Linda, how are you? Um, this is my first time joining your live. Oh, welcome to the live Jay. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so um, if you're already following me and uh, joining the lives for for ages, for years, I don't know how long you've been um, joining the lives since uh, we started in Facebook group. Recently we changed it to YouTube. Just better quality of the video and I save it better and I can type the description a bit better. Um, you might not have the products with you tonight to practice with me, but next time you, you can do when you, you know, got everything um, ready there. Um, you can watch me tonight first and then practice after or if you already have the products that watch the replay, if this is the replay you're watching, you can... Um, follow the video and doing a little bit of practice so after i painted all the colors um because it's like a detailed drawing tonight um and then if you watched the video before or you know me i would like to apply matte top coat on top of the colors before doing any outlining um hello francia Fr uh, is that farissa oh my god i'm sorry if i said your name wrong um and you send me a flag and uh, sorry um i don't really know which country that from please let me know i'm really bad with all the you know like um um flags and um <laughs> geography in, in general i'm not very good at right i know we're gonna meet a lot of new friends on youtube it's just a good start and then um, say hello to me and put some comments and then we introduce each other and when I see your name more I will promise get your name all right or correct the more I see your name I'm really bad with the names <laughs> location um cities countries oh my god that's kind of thing I'm not very good at but I'll try my best okay matte top coat the reason why we want the matte top coat is to create that uh, smooth and a non-shining surface so when we join details it will like drawing on the paper so make your um job a bit easier if you don't have matte top coat and don't worry you can still do in the practice it's not end of the world it's just um this will make your detailed drawing a bit easier make the color pop a bit more and uh, you can paint the line a bit thinner so that's a little trick if you haven't tried it before matte top coat oh i've got fluff okay let's cure it 45 seconds south africa Thank you very much. I will I will try my best to remember the flag. <laughs> so next time I will know. So you know new things every day. 
Okay, let me. Oh, got a bit her. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It just starts raining all of a sudden. It's been really hot. It's been like really hot and um, a bit sunny and rainy whole day today. A bit of thundering as well. Okay, I am going to put a little bit more Black Pro gel. This is the art gel. We need to draw like the details. I'll put a bit more on my palette. So other other tools, the brushes and the color palette, um, brush cleanser. So that's a brush cleanser. I'm putting a little pot to clean my brush, and um, and a pro gel. All these, and I put it as a bundle, so you can find the link in the description. It's called a nail artist and show bundle, and I use this like pretty much every single time when I'm doing nail art. Just um. Um, the fine detail brush and a small brush to draw some uh, color blocks um, and the, the black pro gel for drawing the outlines and um, the cleanser to clean the brush so if you are interested in like, um, into nail art a lot and if you follow me and wanted to practice the nail art with me um, I would say this is like the essential kit I put together um, and then you can just add in any gel polish colors um, to create designs um brush I, I do feel like the brushes and um, the art gel is quite important to draw the thing lines things like that hi anna how are you how's the holiday are you still on holiday are you back now let's start with the first one so we have a little hmm, little flower what would you call this <laughs> what would you call this flower um I found um I found some black and white um flower and leaf patterns and just I just Google um my internet and I found some patterns and I thought that'd be cute. Okay, we will start from the leaves. Blend the pro gel into your brush. You don't want a big lump of um, you know, like a lot of gel. You don't want that. You don't want too less so it's not enough so you kind of want to blend the gel into the brush so like make it nice and even so it's easy to draw oh tulip mm, yeah i think it is tulip is it <laughs> i couldn't decide is a rose or is it not <laughs> yeah tulip that's it yes it's summer lovely so it's raining here in the UK. Oh, I'm not sure if it's like every single place in the UK, but um, it has been raining where I live. So let's do a long straight line, not straight line, kind of like small curves. We do that. And we want to draw the leaves. So we pick up a bit more gel. Again, each time only pick a small amount. Okay. So when we paint it on top of the matte top coat, I don't know if you can tell the difference. The colour just to pop up a bit more sharp, more neat. And again, if you do want to do flash cure, flash cure, a few seconds, so it's not, you're not worried about smudging the design. And then we'll draw the, the middle part of the flower. It's like a tear shape. The tear shape. And then we'll do the two petals on the side. There you go. The first flower. It's done. Flash kill. And then we're going to do this leaf side, like with lots of little circle, um, like an oval shape of the leaves. Okay. 
We're doing um no, let's go. And then we want to do a loop again. So like that. If you do practice with me on the live, it will be, it, it's good to, um, you know, because I'm doing the real speed as well, and um, you're doing the same time. So it's kind of easier to follow rather than you watching the faster speed videos. Gel polish with, gel polish with top. Sorry, Anna, what do you mean gel polish with top? With matte top, yeah. I have painted um, gel polish and a matte top coat. So I kind of do like the oval and leaf shape, but empty in the middle. And you want the both sides a little bit pointy where they join together. Pointy. Okay. And then we'll do some little random dots. And then um, really that first nail is done. Put under the lamp. So these designs are quite simple and easy, like <clears throat> fast when you're doing in the salon. And it's really uh, easy to add it on. It's not gonna take you like say an hour to do one nail what, but it's really cute and effective. Okay, so the second nail. We're gonna do the leaf, um, but the color of your drop is not like empty in the middle. I'll do the straight lines first. I'm gonna say do that first, and that shape. And then now we're gonna pick up a little bit more gel on the end of the brush rather than a small amount this time. Just like we're doing a dot, and then you drag your brush to have that sharp, um, with a join the middle part together, going this slightly thinner. So we press and lift it up. Here we add top coat to the gel polish and then we draw. Yes, we add the matte top coat, cure it, and then we draw. So the, the color will show a bit more, and it's easy to draw. Okay, now we're going to give you a flash cure. So the important part of this design is when to press the brush down and then lift it up while drag it at the same time. Okay. I love this one because it's so simple. But we're effective. Flash kill. Don't forget to keep flash kill. And the another reason why we wanted the flash kill is, say for example, you did this part, you draw it around. You want to re um, remove where you draw it around, you want to do it again. And rest of them, the one you draw before, if they're not flash cured, 
when you clean the um where you wanted to correct it you kind of smudge everything but if you flash cured um the ones you're happy with you can, when you wipe the ones you wanted to remove these are gonna stay on so you can redraw the ones you're not happy with so i don't know if you noticed the little movement i've done with the brush i kind of press it down wiggle a little bit make that dot slightly bigger and then lift up so you get thinner um point um thinner line where the joins to the middle of the leaf but it's thicker where it starts from okay press down wiggle a little bit lift up Okay, like this. And the same again, we do a few random dots. So you can see how quick you can actually create this kind of design. And with different colours, you can actually create a different effect. That's done. Okay, that. The first nail is ready, we cured that. Okay, so this one is a bit like um daisy or sunflower kind of um that kind of vibe. <laughs> so we don't want too much products on the brush because it's like um empty um petals and in the middle you don't want like a too thick we'll draw. A small circle use the tip of the brush like the end pointy bit of the brush draw a little circle flash cure it and then we just draw a little petals just one by one like that fill it all the way up like all the way around that circle So when you draw it, drawing all the petals, kind of have a uh, imagine, and it's like a circle shape. So you don't want to draw a petal like this petal is so long and this side is so short. Kind of follow that um, circle shape. Okay, like that. Now we're going to do the leaves. Same as the first one. Do a different shape of the leaves. Flash cure. And then we'll do another same flower. On the top mm, maybe let's do the flower first and so again if this is um, the first live you're watching and or if you haven't joined our Facebook group yet don't forget to join the group and share your practice in the group with the hashtag um, 2020 nail girl and to enter our monthly giveaway so it's a way we encourage everyone to practice nails and um, share your work with everyone 
and then bring some prize. Um, and the group link is in the description as well. So everything you need to know is in the description. Okay, so this is like a sunflower and the perfect background color. Okay, let's get that. Lovely flowers and leaves. I think flowers and leaves is something, like a flower is something I'm not very confident or good at uh, for a long time. I just kind of think I need to push myself this year to practice more different sort of flowers. Even just um, a simple, easy one, because um, there are a lot of um, customers like, you know, a little bit of flowerish design. So the purpose of doing this on the live, and I know it's like a practice uh, showing you guys the nails and nail art but it's also for me to practice so i like to uh, i like to knowing i have to practice it <laughs> okay next one so this one just like um leaves um i think that's a little flower there i don't know what name of that flower <laughs> could be anything So this one, um, we need to draw three lines first, kind of like across to each other. So it looks a bit, looks a bit complicated, but let's simplify it from three lines. Just that, just like that, and then I do that. Okay, and that's how we start to that one. I need to I need practicing hard to draw. You mean like um the thing lies and stuff. It's literally down to the practice when the more you draw you kind of feel more confident. Okay, I need to kill this one, flash kill it. So they're not smudged together. So far we've already done three flower and leaf design let's do that little flower at first with loads of dots kind of just dots like a fluffy fluffy flower here we go I like it how um, it's not really realistic looking <laughs> flower, make it slightly easier. And we want to do the leaves for that. Okay, flash cure. And then let's done to this one. So this must be more like a combination between the first and then second type of leaves. You want a small amount of the gel on the brush. If it's too much gel on the brush, the line will go too thick. And kind of just melt together. Okay, flash kill. And go last one. Dot, drag.
And then we'll do a few random dots again. There we go. Last one. This one is the rose. <laughs> rose is here now. Okay. With this rose, I chose a, like a not very complicated one. Because some rose, the petal can go quite complicated. So I just want to quickly draw it on a paper. Then when we're drawing on the nail, it's a gel. Will be slightly easier. So we start with a small circle, okay, and then we kind of feel one petal around the circle, and then we'll do like three petals, kind of like just going bigger and bigger around around that uh, circle in the middle. Right, to make it bigger. So this is what we're doing. Hmm. I don't know if you can tell, so this is the first attempt I've done for the sample. And uh, I feel the set I've done today is much better than the first one. So uh, because it's the second time I'm drawing it and... Um, I feel like the lies and stuff is going to be neater. Um, yeah, it's already better than the first attempt. So again, practice makes perfect. <laughs> I believe if I draw again, I'm probably going to twist a little bit something and make it even better. Where's my brush? Here we go. Hmm, I might change my brush. Right, let me... I'm going to change the detail brush because I feel when I use a detail brush because it's shorter, the shorter length, it's easier to control when I'm doing the circle, that kind of shape. I'm going to put a small amount of gel onto the detail brush. And then let's do a circle like that. And uh, we want a little extra there. So that's how we start in the middle. Let me add in a bit. So that, that's like that. We start in the middle. And then we're we'll doing uh, three petals. There's one layer. Bigger. Okay, I've got one flower there. And we want to do another one on the side. So just flash kill that. So we're doing a middle patch. So three petals for the first layer. Kind of like <laughs> finish like a circle around the shape with the petals. Flash kill it. 
And then clean my brush. Keep cleaning your brush in the brush cleanser. That's how you um, protect your brush. Make sure it's all nice and soft. When you draw in the details, it will become even easier. And now I'm back to the extra fine brush, the longer one. And we can draw the leaves. So I want a very thin, fine line. And then the dots on. There we go. Now I can fully cure it. And then you have your option you can paint matte top coat to have a matte finish uh, if you prefer the matte background with a little bit of shining and drawing you can leave without top coat on the pro gel you don't have to top coat it if you want to like this kind of um bit of shining um drawing on top of the matte colors you can leave like that so that's what i'm gonna do like that so you can see the matte color and the shining uh, compared to shining if you which one you prefer um, but I do recommend still painting a top coat um, just it's not easy to get dirty and then protect the design and the color a bit better so normally I would uh, shiny top coat it um, yeah, so this is tonight, the practice we're doing this week and I hope you enjoyed it. It's quite quick, simple, um, but I think it's super cute and effective when you're doing, uh, actually adding to your solo nail art. And when you change to different background colour, like I say, when you change to like a nude colour or dark colour and give you different uh, vibes. If you change the background to a darker colour, you can use white pro gel to do the patterns so you, you got different like option and we also have the metallic colors like gold or silver you can do that as well so same same technique with different color give you a totally different season look could it be summer could it be you know spring could it be winter um so it's um nail art sometimes can be simple when you just literally um using the exactly same design with with different colors um for Alan Masterclass uh, members, for your homework, don't forget to submit by midnight tomorrow night and to adding the points. And, and um, if you are not members, don't worry, you can just um, join our Facebook group and uh, submit to your um, practice with the hashtag 2023 nail go which i put in the description in the sorry details in the description you can read about it and everybody can share your work there and uh, have the chance to enter our uh, to win the prize and um, yeah i'll leave the live there the video will be saved so you can watch again and or you probably you're already watching the replay i know like a lot of people can't um, join the live but don't worry you can always catch up um on the replay um okay i will say bye now and um enjoying rest of your evening and i'll see you next week bye bye